am very confused. All right. So let me say this before we actually get into the actual details of the video and to her letter because we are going to read that. Don't judge my reading. But when it comes down to things, this is a huge ass deal, right? This is a huge ass deal. However, th let's think about this calmly and collect our minds before we actually get into like some super in-depth craziness, honestly, because let's be honest, even though YouTube might now have swapped hands with someone else, changes on YouTube, if there is going to be any, that's going to be, you know, a slow thing to happen. You know, it's going to be something that happens very slowly and it's not necessarily going to be something that might happen sporadically. It could happen sporadically, but the chances of that usually happens during some months and time and weeks and stuff like that. So if you're thinking that there's going to be some changes to for the better, hopefully, um, it probably won't happen so like immediately, right? It probably won't happen exactly as we think it might be. So it might take some time too. And then we don't necessarily even know how this new guy going to come in and operate the entire system of things. Hopefully they do look at the changes that need to be done and stuff like that and actually work it out and actually make content better for like us creators because it's been hell and a half trying to deal with like a lot of this stuff no doubt they're still gonna put the companies like that uses this platform over us like tons of times but still hopefully with this new dude whoever this is hopefully they'll change up the platform to be at least manageable and better so we don't all feel like constantly dealing with the policy team and how shit it usually be because it does usually be like that honestly i haven't ran into that problem but so many people have ran into that problem and it's no reason for it honestly hopefully they try to fix some things with the system because it is for damn near ridiculous honestly it really is i don't know if y'all noticed but there's another like vtuber that usually cover like news and drama and stuff when it comes to, like the vtube in space and niji sanji man got hit with whole 10 whole ass copyright strikes or guideline strikes or whatever and then still you know his channel could be deleted and i don't care i honestly i don't wish your channel to be deleted i don't wish nobody's channel to be deleted on anybody that's just something that you just don't want to do anyway when it comes down to things let's actually read this letter here this stepping down letter from susan because this is just wild i of all the things again on the bingo card of what well, actually last year was crazy bingo card with vince mcmahon now we have a bingo card with this lady so it's like wh what the hell is happening anyway so basically her letter reads out as dear creators earlier today i sent an email to employees announcing that i'd be stepping back from my role as the head of YouTube to start a new ch chapter focused on my family, health, and personal projects and I'm passionate about. It has been an honor of my career to have a front row seat to the incredible YouTube community you have built. You, Your stories of perseverance, creativity, and inspiration were a daily source of motivation and inspired me to be an advocate and steward for this community you all created. It was a constant highlight of my job to sit down with you, hear, hear how you were using the platform, and listen to feedback, which let's be honest, he really didn't take. Um, sometimes what you said was tough and candid, damn straight, uh, but it was important for me to, for me and the wider YouTube team to listen, listen and do better. Today, the YouTube community is incredibly strong. You're building businesses and following your dreams. You will continue to have someone com committed to building and advocating for creators at the helm of YouTube. YouTube's longtime chief product officer, Neil Mohan. Oh, yeah, Neil Mohan will take over the leadership role. He is an excellent leader and understands the community and what you need today, tomorrow, and in the future better than anyone. I plan to stay around for a period, to, period of time to help Neil with the transition and will serve as an advisor to Google and Alphabet. I remain just as convinced today as, a, as when I started nine years ago that YouTube's best days are ahead of it. From shorts to podcasting to streaming to subscriptions, 
I am excited to see what comes next. And with Neil and our incredible team of employees, you will all be in good hands. Finally, thank you for the ev thank you for everything over the years. Thank you for welcoming me into your studios, your homes, and your lives. Thank you for letting me be a part of the incredible stories you're sharing with the world. With a with admiration susan so yeah that's basically basically what she uh put down there and like i said let's be honest it, it was not a good time it, it was not a good time it wasn't always bad but it wasn't uh, the best of time too like i said and obviously as i said before there's going to be a moment of just where nothing's happening or like there's not gonna be big changes off rip honestly hell there might not even be any big changes there should be, there really should be, but there might not necessarily even be big changes, honestly. But we'll see what the hell happens in the future. But I wouldn't really expect anything crazy to happen until like this month is over with, or like maybe the middle of next month. I honestly wouldn't expect anything outside of that until that point because this is just something that's huge. Again, hell, even with like, because. And the only reason I'm thinking this is because I'm thinking how WWE is working with right now. Like how Vince McMahon is trying to sell the company and everything right now. Because when the whole thing of everybody stepping down and all this type of stuff and, you know, Triple H getting to creative, he couldn't just outright say like, I am the game. I'm going to go ahead and make this superstar right here at the top of the company with my ideas. He didn't do that outright. He didn't do that outright. It took him to SummerSlam to do that, which was a few months, which was like a month or two, you know? So it wasn't necessarily like just outright like, I am the game, you will respect me, and all that type of stuff like that. It took a little while for, you know, the insider of the business to kind of go through with things and kind of see how things go. Most likely Vince helped him with the creative a little bit with his original ideas before truly stepping down and stuff or just have the ideas already that was in motion go ahead and go forth that's basically how that's going to be so like i said don't expect any type of changes outright if there is going to be changes it's going to be probably within a month's time or like a month or two you know you, ne you never really know but still that's basically how that's going to be and with this new person neil mohan i don't necessarily know anything about this person i'll be perfectly honest I don't necessarily look into a lot of research. Most likely, a lot of people will most likely do that in the coming days and weeks, potentially, about this new guy. But when it comes down to things, I just hope that he has at least a little bit of care for the creators. I hope. No doubt that they're going to try to, you know, push maybe something more towards into the overseas market when it comes to, you know, YouTube and stuff even more harder now especially with you know who i think this person is i think the new person the ceo is now like uh um, a man of indian ethnic ethnicity i think maybe i don't necessarily know and most likely i wouldn't be surprised they wouldn't like you know put more money towards the indian side of the market and stuff so again we'll have to see again really we already know what the complaints are when it comes to youtube on the creator side of things I just really hope with this new person being in charge that we'll get some type of change for the better for us. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. We still want to get a, we still want to catch an ass whooping regardless. That's going to be the thing. But I hope at least this time around we won't be so brutally beaten down by the damn system and actually will be fixed up and changed. Again, because I'm not necessarily going to lie. There's a lot of things that need, do need to be fixed. There's a lot of things that do scare me with this change too, because you know you never know when a new person gets in charge. Some things that were acceptable with the old regime might not necessarily be acceptable with this new regime. So you know you never really know, and this was the thing I was always fearing. So when it comes down to things, I don't necessarily know what's going to happen. It's a scary time. It's also a cool time, but it's more of a time to be patient and just wait and see how this kind of turns out because this is kind of crazy. But yeah, that's basically what I want to put out for this one. Obviously, this was unexpected as hell, but definitely this is something I wanted to... This is something basically I wanted to talk about because this is big ass news. So of course I got to bring it up. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it. I'm going to try to put something else out tonight, honestly. We'll see. But if I don't, then this pretty much is the reason why. But hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and out. Also follow me on the socials so you can like to donate to the channel. Patreon is available as well. And until then, it's your boy Jay. Signing off. Have a blessed day.